Hi, what I want to go over is our uh, Sweep RPO, which has been our complement to power and has been our most successful outside run uh, RPO that we've used. Again, first off, you want to go through the three steps, figure out which is your best return on investment. We love this play because it simply gets people running and it allows us to not only hit outside the, the tackle, but we can actually make this an off tackle play as you'll see with our outs. The second part is, is we still do our pre-snap. Do we have access, no access, and then post-snap re-key with this. The neat thing about the sweep is now our read defender becomes the mic. With our zone, split zone concept, split veer, where we're reading first level defensive ends. Uh, with power, we become an RPO where we're reading Sam and Will outside linebackers, and now with our sweep, we're reading a Mike, Mike linebacker run through. So again, access, no access, we're looking at, again, these Mr. Zeros, Sam and Will. If they are inside the box, meaning they're not defending the pass, then that means we have access. If they're outside the box defending the pass, we would say no access. Again, with our drill progression phase, what we like to do here is our north drill, which is focusing on the pass portion of the RPO or the play action pass first phase. You can see here with our skill people, when we're running our sweep RPO to the left, the left side of the formation is running sweep blocking, but the back side is doing a simple over concept where they're getting over the linebackers and then over the field finding open grass, a very simple route. At the same time, our linemen with our H are working their sweep uh, blocking scheme, which the beauty about sweep is it's a simple covered, uncovered that we use with defensive recognition right from the start, using a pin and pull, meaning if you are covered, you're going to be big on big. If you're uncovered, you're going to do a deep open pull and go to that next outside backer to the play side. So here's your sweep pin and pull. We're coming to the left. Typically, we start out running this to the H, and it's a great play. What we're looking for here now is when the defensive ends start to line up down inside of our H-backs uh, to take away power. This makes it the great complement. He's got a great blocking angle to come down. That's the pin, and then you get your tackle pulling. For that reason, you'll see here in the film of Penn State, we'll do what's called a deep open pull. Where we actually want to get three to four yards depth and simply run, never looking back. The backside center, in this case on an even front, gets to pull, and then they replace through that. So we, this is how it becomes a possible edge play, but also they can follow the second puller and make it an off-tackle play. Again, you've got the over routes on the backside. We're simply reading this my linebacker. If he fills through here, being play side A-gaps run through, then that first A receiver is going to go ahead and replace him. They're both looking for open grass. The last thing we do for timing that's different is we combine an old jet sweep technique where the quarterback actually shuffles steps across and gets a ride phase here because we don't have to be in a, per, a hurry with sweep. So here's an example of it going to the left. You can see it's in a three by one set. You're going to see the defensive ends down, so we're going to pin and we're going to pull here. Great example, you'll see it from the side and then from behind. There, pin. You can see the guard comes around and we get the backside also. Great blocking. You see the linemen get the depth on that deep open pull. And you don't have to be in a hurry with the phase at all. Here it is where you, this is the constraint place where we can add tags to this where we make it a super call. Super again for us. Um, is the back is going to be a lead blocker on the Sam and the quarterback is going to carry the ball. So we're going to come to the left. You're going to see the same pin and pull where the tackle will pull around, but we get the back now leading too, so you get an extra blocker. And a great way if you want to make your quarterback the ball carrier. Again, if we add a north cue to it, that simply means we're going to think pass first. Linemen do all the same technique. They just don't get it more than a yard downfield. And the quarterback can think pass with our pop. We use our pop combination here whenever you hear north. Okay, So that's the one time you make a change. And again, it's with the signal. Once we get a north signal straight ahead, the receivers are looking at signals, not listening to words. 
they're going to automatically go to their pop route. The nice thing about sweep with everything we're teaching, the linemen are getting depth, so the chance of them getting more than a yard downfield is rarely ever going to happen anyway, just naturally running the play. And the quarterback does a shuffle step, so it buys him time as if he was doing a three-step drop. But it's a great action. It's always going to be the pop combo is with the A and the Z. So in this case, if we're running it to the H, it's going to be just like our normal RPO, a backside pass play. Now a great way to make this a front side pass play is you simply change the formation so your A and Z are play side. In this situation, we did it from our three by one set, which we like to do a lot of with sweep. Now if they're heavy, one high, you can make this a front side play action. Again, all you do is make the north call for the lineman, alerting them that it's pass first and not to get more than a yard downfield. The signal cues the route for the receivers, which they're locked in whatever side they're on, the quarterback knows he's looking towards the A receiver side. So now it becomes a front side play action pass. So hopefully what you've seen here is a simple way to complement power just by looking at that defensive end's alignment, okay, and going to sweep when he comes down inside, and then using the same constraint calls like super, as well as your north call to make your play action passes out of it. Thanks.